Hey everybody, welcome back. We are starting the episode with the group finishing up their Zeppelin run and then getting to the aftermath of all the wonderful decisions they have made. Initiative for everybody. These initiative sucks. So the race are on yeah. 12, the drones on 14. Yeah. CD's what? on a 25? Yeah. Yep. Wow. I'm rocking on a 17. Jeez. I'm going on an 8. 9. Yeah, I, I moved my combat awareness to initiative reaction. Because I knew it was going to be real important. <laughs> All right, fair. what did Max get for initiative? Max is at a 16. 16, not bad. All right, so CD is first at a 25. CD sees this Arasaka drone kind of slowly crawl, pull itself out of the wreckage. It's damaged. It's sparking. You can hear uh, like a bit of a hiss of hydraulics as they're having errors. But you can see the turret starting to move around like it's searching for a target. doesn't quite see you yet since you're going first. Okay, um, what is the, like, attacking a drone head-on with a machine gun? Is that a smart uh, thing to do? Well, or are these, like, really, are they, like, bulletproof? They're, they... us they're usually hardened against, like, small arms fire, but the explosion fucked this one's armor up. So you probably have a relatively good shot of being able to damage it if you hit good enough vital points. So, for example, well, in, in crunch speak... You roll high enough damage to get past the armor. The armor's yeah. been fucked up. So, better question. Um, is it, like, surrounded in fire? Or is it something I could engage with a physical implement of melee attack itch? Well, there's the fire ruins of the botch truck around it. But yeah. you can definitely navigate through that to strike it. If you want to, like, use your your wolvers or whatever implants you have for combat-wise. Yeah. Um, well, I'd probably use my katana because, let's face it, you know, this isn't a cyberpunk game unless someone's using a katana. Um, I also so, have a katana. Very true. So I, will, I might I will, also have a katana. I will let the sniper rifle stay in the dirt, um, and I will run, and I will pull the katana to attack a vital spot. Okay. So go ahead and move up by one more step down, and we can go your attack. So as you basically drop the sniper rifle to the, to the gun. Drop the sniper rifle to the ground, run up towards the drone, pull your katana, and you just jump up to swing at it. You find where the joints in the armor, especially the legs are at, probably is your best point of striking. Because the drone itself stands probably about 12 feet tall when it's on mm -hmm. all fours. But since that one, the one right rear leg is damaged from the explosion, it's kind of favoring that. So it's tilted a bit, exposing a part of its underside. The drone itself, once you're now close to it, and can see it in the firelight better, it's this silvered, like, almost chromed-out metallic armor that's just been blackened by the fire and explosion. And you can see the Arasaka, like, the print of the Arasaka name on the legs, and then, like, a logo for Arasaka, like, around the main part of the body. The turret looks like it's a machine gun that's, like, searching right now for a target. Okay. It seems still disoriented from the explosion, so you definitely get a, a swing in. Go ahead and okay. roll. Okay, now, your katana, is that rate of fire it's two? Two, yeah. Okay. So, first attack... 16 will hit. Oh, yeah, baby. Roll your damage. Hope it's good. Ouch. Ooh, no. seven. Not so good. Not bad, but not great. Well, luckily I get a second guy. Yep. Go ahead and swing your second one. 21. So basically, you swing down in the one leg, you bite into a bit of the joint, and then once you dip underneath it, you see a spot and just drive the blade straight up. Go ahead and roll your damage. Nine. Uh, can I uh, use one of my dice to reroll damage? Not on damage. Son of a bitch. Yep, it's ne we've never done the damage allowances because that can yeah, get yep, silly real quick. That's right. fair. But yeah. you will definitely drive the point of the katana in to like a, a panel that seems to be damaged from the explosion. And you can see you can probably start wedging that away and you probably get to the vital insides, the gooey bits of the robot. Cool. But it is not the drone's turn. Oh my god. It goes to Polly. Okay, I'm going to peek into this tent. You see a bunch of like canisters, like these metal canisters about the size of a keg, right? So like a good three feet tall and like a foot and a half wide or so, labeled with biohazard all over them. Some sort of gas. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what you see. That's what Polly, when she peeks inside, she sees a bunch of biohazard stuff. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, they have be the T-virus. Yeah, this can be a tertiary concern, and I don't feel like setting up um, Return of the Living Dead. So I'm going to press a button so this 
weapon starts firing against the propane tank. Okay. And then I would like to take my movement around and here. Okay, so you're basically sliding away from the tent and going to put your back up against the wall of the building that hosts the, the pulley system. Correct. Get a little lean in, hit the button to set the, the other weapon off. All, All right. right. Yeah, that start firing. Do me a favor and roll 10d6. That's a lot of d6s. Damn. Those are crits, too. A lot too. of twos. Yeah, but two sixes makes critical wounds, so we're not even going to deal with that. So when the gun that you have pointed at the, at the protein tank hits, it triggers a chain explosion of the ammo that's in the building right next to it. Yes, and you just hear this, like, it was. boom, yes. and then boom, 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 and you hear the small explosions as basically rounds are going out, just pop, 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 pop and screaming from inside. One dude Underneath makes it out. my breast, I'm happy, happy 4th of July. <laughs> one guy makes it out as the structure starting to collapse on itself everybody else seems to be trapped inside you hear screaming from, from indoors and as that happens you will hear the I'm just going to take them out of turn because they were going to go on Max's turn but hey it's, this is better you will hear the wraith, not the wraiths the nomads that are with you the snake nation start firing at the vehicles up there and like just laying down suppressive fire on the turret as that happens you guys hear that buzzing overhead of that drone returning, and it's being chased <laughs> by a flock of ravens that is just making all the, the motion sensors on the turrets go nuts. So they're out for this turn and maybe the next turn. Don't want to get out of here. It's bad country. <laughs> we can't stop here. Caw, caw, bitches. Caw, caw. That leads us to Max. All right. Is the only entrance into the building that houses the pulley system on the east side of the building? Right by the turret, yes. However... You can try to climb the building itself. It's only a one-story tall building. And you have your gun, your grapple gun. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm going to move here. Okay, and... so you slide around the building by Polly, the yep. south side of the, the, the pulley building. And then uh, I'll wink at Polly, and I'll start climbing up the top of the building. I'll go ahead and get in a crouch position, interlock my fingers so I can give him a boost up. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Go ahead and roll your athletics for me. Certainly. Now, whatever you roll, we'll add plus three to it. Oh, wait. Wow, that was quick. Uh, That's a go. 20. Wow. All right. So with Polly's help, you just get boosted up to the edge. You grab the ledge of the building and pull yourself up to the roof. And you realize there's nobody up here right now. Sweet. Fools. There are a couple Fools. of boxes off to the side, but you can see the platforms down here and everything. It's waiting to go back up. Excellent. The Snake Nation will move a bit here at this point in time. As they're still laying down suppressive fire and the turrets are confused. Which brings us to Z. Oh, the wraiths, actually. Sorry. Yeah, fuck. No, Shit's on fire. They don't, they don't have to move. They don't have to do anything. They're heading up north, actually. This person's going to man the gun fully. This guy's like, what the fuck is going on up there? Everybody's taking steps towards the doors. That brings us to uh, Z at that point in time. The wraiths have moved to position. They can't see anybody for to fire on them yet. Because everything's going fucking nuts right now. Time to uh, hack. All right. So not so hack much hacking planet. as it is rewiring, right? Okay. So Rewire you're going to need planet. to roll your electronic slash security tech. Yeah, I have that. Look at that. I'm re-rolling that. Look yeah, that. because that's Go. a five. <laughs> a 17 is much, much better. So Man, you a lot of critical fails tonight. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, it's been brutal. We don't talk about it. You guys will get in. What do you what do you want to do? Like you definitely hack into the system, so to speak. I'm swapping the friend foe switch. Flip it. So here's the thing. You can't you can erase all the friend friend foe, but that's you guys aren't in the system, so you can't make it to where you guys are allies or friendlies. You can just erase the database. Okay. I'll erase which the database. Which means it's gonna fire on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> turn it off. It was gonna fire on us and not them. So, or you can turn it off. Just yeah. turn it off, and Fine, then we'll take I'll it with turn us. It off. Okay. Then, then we'll take it with us, and we can reprogram it later. Oh, we can we'll set it out in front of Giga Blomi's place. Yep. So you shut down the Arasaka turret as it was confused, anyways, by all the ravens and the fucking Zeppelin drone. That, that brings us to shot. the drone. Oh, Nate, Nate, you probably don't know this. The reason we hate Giga or there's so much hate towards Gigabyte Me is because they're the people who killed uh, TNT. TNT. They were the ones that dropped off the bombs. 
You, we have it confirmed. You you read my song, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah right. it's like <laughs> you're dead. Like they we they did. they could have like blown blown hot breath in our direction. I like, <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna bust a cap. Like, <laughs> this is this is legit. All right, so to your house like a ninja and cut up your drone. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> so the drone's gonna fire with a machine gun on CD as it kind of takes a step back and tries to angle down. Uh, it's got to get a 17 to hit you, so we'll see how the fuck it goes. I don't it's, like that he would be shooting at me. It's he not going to use auto fire, should, so it's trying to do more precise just, attacks. He should just quiet down and go to sleep. Look like he Ouch. hit. Look like he, yeah, look like he hit. Look like he hit. 20 he damage to the damage. body. And did some damage. That's ouch. Oof. Holy shit. So, obviously, I'm pretty sure it's going to bypass your armor, so knock your armor down by one for ablation, and then take the remainder in damage. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah, that's, that's a rough one. And then damage, you said, um, so that's whatever's left over. Yep. So that's eight. I ain't nothing to sneeze at, but okay. That's pain. Yeah. All right. That brings us back to the top of the round at CD's turn. No. Right. I, I get to go. No, you don't. No, just kidding. Go ahead. What's up? Uh, I'm taking my movement. What's up? To there. <laughs> and I will also. So you run up link. also and I towards will Polly. Give him the lift. And she's yep. like, boost. So go ahead and roll the athletics. Add three to the, the total after the fact. 14. 14. You needed a 13. So you get up just barely. So as as Max has gotten to the top of the roof and has kind of like realized nobody's up here, he's starting to get the pulley system secured. That's when Vos starts to just grunt his way over the top and roll onto the rooftop. I'm going to be like, this is why you always get shot. You're so fucking loud while you're grunting. <laughs> uh, fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you say that to dad? Oh, man. All right. Now we go to the top of the round, and it's Vox. Um, all right. I will. CD. Uh, <laughs> Do add CD. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll step in, and uh, I will attack for that weakness once again. Okay. With with my S word. We will add three to your damage, if okay. you, and you do hit twenty one. Definitely hits this thing as you're as it's trying to maneuver itself, and you hear it kind of stepping on the remains of the botch truck as it's maneuvering for a better shot at you. Go ahead and roll your damage. Damn. Ooh, yes, yeah, son. Seventeen. What is this madness? An S word. Yes. Can you roll a one too? Yeah. So yeah, seventeen so. plus the three. Twenty. 20. No, 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 no. I included the three. Oh, okay. I oh. added it to my damage modifier. All right, let me rack up the total here. Okay. So with that, you managed to see that weak point, that, that part you had pulled away from the panel on the bottom. You pull the katana black and just drive it up right into the guts of the machinery and it start basically grinding the blade around. It starts to kind of shudder and you feel like the legs start to lose support as it kind of jerks down towards you as the gun shoots off once or twice. You get your second attack. You might be able to actually destroy this thing. 23. Wow. And another yeah, 17? No, no, I don't know why. The, it yeah, rolled the twice. 23 is the attack. Yeah. yeah. So you definitely hit. Twice. You're already in the guts of this machinery. So go ahead and roll your damage. Ooh. Oh. Nice. Is that a crit? That is a crit. No. Six. No, it's not no. two sixes. No. Oh, it's got to be two. Okay. Yeah. Damn. That's still good, though. So basically, you. Yeah. Oof. Take the katana edge and just run it through like a like you're stirring up the guts of this damn drone. And as you pull the blade back for another strike, you see it kind of list backwards and towards that leg it's favoring and just collapses as you hear that hum of the gears start to disengage themselves and just sparks and lays in the fire. Okay. Arasaka drone down. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which brings us to Polly. You're at the back of the building. Vox and Max have both gone to the top. What are you doing? Um, I hit five buttons in succession. And, and set off everything. Up, okay. And set up the set up set off the front line. And um, I'm gonna try to uh, climb up the wall. Okay. Roll your I'll athletics. Reach down. I'll reach down, and grab her, pull. Add two for the assist. So add two to the roll. I will use a die. Okay. Because <laughs> no. uh, uh, I will not blame you. There you go. There you go. So, there cool. you, go. you need your 13. You basically manage to pull back, run, push off the wall, grab towards the top, clasp onto Vox's hand with your free hand, and you get pulled up perfectly fine. 
So <laughs> after Polly, that brings us to the dead drone and Max. What's up, Max? Uh, I'm gonna. So from from where I'm at the top of the of this building, can I get into the? Um, can I get myself hooked up so I can start heading up to the zeppelin? Oh yeah, you're. All three of you can easily get maneuvered on your turn onto the little platform and start making your way up. We're doing it. Okay. Um, I have I have something to do before we do that. So Max is getting ready to start doing the pull. You're like, wait, 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 wait a second. I'm like, hold on. I'll let you have a quick right. back and forth. Um, What's up? I need to I need to drop some some flares on this uh, guy right side of the building um, that has a gun. Well, he's gonna know that, we're here. The third turret. I okay. mean, all three of us could just lean down and shoot that dude in the fucking dome piece. Like, <laughs> I'm okay with that. Okay. Okay. I mean, I mean, or we should we just not? go? Well, or we, we could take just... out we take out a gunner. We could just go up. All right. I, okay. I see how it is. I'm just, <laughs> Fuckers. We, we, I mean, we still <laughs> got like, down here in, in, in CD down uh, here. Oh he no, I stay down here. I, I will let them that. hear me go. I hear how it is. Fuckers. CD's job is not to get to the Zeppelin. I know, it's to clear us. Yeah, you guys are supposed to get to the Chopper. He's, like, right, killing the true. thing because it can bleed. Yes. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Um, He's supposed to come with us, yeah? Yeah. So we're back to killing the guy. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> All right, let's go ask him. So... <laughs> All right, so here's the question. Um, I'm just... Just to let everybody know... You kill this dude with firearms, you're going to let people know you're on top of the roof. That's that's the problem that I'm having with this whole plan. Like, yeah, oh. just, your your job is to get away stealthily. Yes. Right. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can I'm going up. To, I'm, and since Z is right there, can we reach down basically and pull Z her up? Z is not right there. Z is right here. Z is not right there. Yeah, I know. Z, Z can run know. up, but there's a dude right in the doorway. Like, oh, that's true. Who's been heading Z out. Z could also go this way, and none are the wiser. This is yeah, also true. This dude is going to be going north. Me. Right. Yeah, that guy enough. is going to be enough. going north. So I, I can also go back right, I guess to we're here going up. and take cover. All right. So you guys start using the pulley to go start towards the Zeppelin. Up, right. up, up with the fish. You guys start to ascend, which will bring us from Max to Max to Z. Oh, actually, to the Wraiths. Z, I need you to roll your stealth. Let's see what you get. Getting abandoned by my team here. Not abandoned you. Oh, damn. 33? <laughs> I willed it to you. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> willing the 33 to I me. willed it to you, Riggs. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you, man. I heard you. <laughs> and this poor guy only rolled a 16 on perception. It's not worth wasting. He's just going to start running up towards the north side where all that gunfire oh. is now going off. And See, it wasn't abandoning. It was faith that you can handle yourself. I'm going to shoot you when I see you. Yeah. We're going to send the elevator back down, but we have to start killing people Except that are up in the Zeppelin. That's why you take as many people as you can. Because right. you have one, a bullet sponge with you. One Wraith is going to take a shot off at uh, at CD as he's outlined by the fire Sweet. with his pistol. Sweet. As it's the doves of. fly off in the background behind right. the fire. Yeah, 21 except, in the first one. Except, uh, go find yourself, guys. <laughs> 13 damage. Mr. Bullet Sponge over here. Uh, I assume uh, that that uh, diminishes my armor again. Yes. And then I take uh, two. Okay. Three. Yeah, two. whatever's the remainder, just regular yeah. body shots. So he'll pop you. You'll feel like it, the bullets will just strike you in the back, and you'll definitely feel bits where the armor has been kind of penetrated, and uh -huh. you're starting to bleed a bit on yourself. His second attack is ready to fire two. Yep. Oh, is a 27. Yeah. But only 8 damage, which I don't think goes for the armor. No. You'll just feel like the, the bump on the back of your, your shoulders as you get hit with the second shot. Over here, the the wraith that's in the, the, the machine gun nest is trying to control the turret as it's wanting to aim at all these ravens flying around. They're chasing the drone. The other shiv that runs out there is starting to shoot suppressive fire into the distance against some of the, the speakers out there that are sending off gunfire. Yeah. You will hear other wraiths start to run out. There's two real guns out there, too. Yep. It's two wraiths. Are start, a couple of wraiths are trying to stream out of the buildings uh, to head towards that direction. And let's see here if I can shoot. This is Josiah. Josiah's going to take his turn to shoot at the guy in the sniper nest with an assault rifle. We're not going to do auto fire. We're just going to do attack. 
he has an 11. No, nah, he's not 26 to 50 yards. That's not, he's too close. So that will miss. And then we will get full stop, take a shot with a heavy pistol. A 30 will hit. 10 damage, a second attack. A 23 will hit. 17 damage. Oh, that's Jesus. a crit. 27. That's a crit. Yeah. That's a crit. That's a crit. Yeah. We're just yep. going to axe that guy out. The machine gun nest goes silent as the Raffin ship that's been manning it gets basically shot down with two shots from one mm. of the nomads with you. Flap, flap. She Ooh, will move shiny. out and cover darkness a bit. Um, so Lena, Lyra is moving a bit further along the north to the east on the cover of darkness as the remaining race are shooting at, wildly at the emitters of the sound. What are you doing, Z? Pull me up, you assholes. <laughs> they already started going. Up, are we? Um, you could probably bound off the front of the fire truck to try to get up top, or you can go inside because there's a ladder that leads to the roof. I don't know that. Well, I you, also don't know that there's not anyone else in there. Well, y- you walk right past the entrance. So as you as you run by that entrance, there doesn't seem to be anybody else in there. There's a light on inside. You don't see anybody. Oh, cool. I'm going to go take the ladder. Okay. Now it's going to be an athletics chest to see if you can jump up to the platform as Max has been raising it this time. Can I assist by potentially reaching down to... Grab. Sure, we'll give you a plus two to the check. Fair. 17, yes. She grabs the platform edge with one hand, and then her other hand reaches up to clasp on the Vox's arm. You pull her on up. The four of you guys are on the platform, which does at that point bring us to CD at the top of the round. Okay. Now, this cool guy walking away from the explosion. Turn uh, to Z. Uh, you're late. Which guy shot me? You're welcome for taking down the turret. <laughs> There's this asshole. guy that's closest to the <laughs> remains of the drone right here. Yeah, okay. He's the one who's holding that heavy pistol. He's kind of scanning through that the, the flames right now, looking for you again. Okay, I will uh, I'll sheath the blade and pull the pistol, and I'll... Okay. I will I will fire at him. You will pew pew? I will poom poom pew. 20, 25. You're 25 feet away. Okay. So that puts you at... Seven. What does that mean? I'm just checking your difficulties. Yes. Yes, please and thank you, because I have no idea how that works in this game. DC 13. Yeah. Yeah, all okay. difficulty is based on range from the target. Okay. 24, 24 definitely hits. 18. That's actually pretty damn good. So that that'll get damage. 8 past his armor jack. Oh, no. Actually, no, more oh, than that yeah. because it's been degraded from the explosion by 2. So that leaves it I at a 9. I don't think that was damage. That was attack again. No, that wasn't. Uh, oh, that was attack? Maybe yeah. I accidentally rolled attack. Oh, yeah, you did. So, yeah, sorry. Good good eye, good eye. So that's good and roll really damage Thanks. twice. So 15. So minus, so that'd be six over. And then you want me to just roll my damage again? Yep. Since... 17. Nice. Which will Very now nice. be... Eight six, over? Six, eight. Yeah, eight over. Right. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Um, that's pain. That's fun. He will attempt to make a death save. <laughs> this poor God. fucker. He has seven. He did not roll lower than his body. He will die. <laughs> so you pop this guy, and he just kind of struggles as you see him kind of moving forward. He just kind of raises his pistol towards you, but your second shot hits him. He just kind of stumbles back and just falls onto the dirt. Well, I'd go for cover, but so. not really any there. I mean, you got the flaming wreckage of yeah, the cover drone. Doesn't you know? Cover doesn't matter. So yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. So that that will be my game. Cover doesn't fucking matter. Meta commentary. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, you're either visible or you're not. So <laughs> <laughs> all right. So here's the deal: we got three people going to the zeppelin, or four people going to the zeppelin. We could go straight up to you guys on the zeppelin map. Or, I, I'm okay with that. Okay. Because what's going to play out down here is between the confusion and the gunfire and the three Snake Nation that are with you, you're probably going to take out a good portion or at least lead these guys away from the camp as they're ascending. So I think Operation Distraction is a fucking resounding success. Beautiful. So we will go up to the Zeppelin map. I actually have a Zeppelin map, guys. Look Here at that. that. Oh, and there are people up here. That's what I was afraid of. Well, I, we already knew there were. We saw some guy yeah, go up and drop a box. So we've got... Wow, look at that. I've got the four of you here that are supposed to be here. This is right here, right by the front propellers. That T-intersection is where you guys are coming up off of the the, the pulley system. Okay. okay. You do. You can see, like, the way the Zeppelin's set up, you've got primarily the control uh, ahead of you, where the, the general, like, you know, the pilots would stay in the, the co-pilot stations and all that. Then you have a second level above that 
which is probably storage or some other sort of situation. And on the back portion of the Zeppelin is where they have like the crew quarters and like the, the bedrooms and things of that nature and storage. So that's what you're set up with. Now you can hear people moving around in here. They're like, what the fuck is going on down there? Holy shit, should we take off? No, man, we gotta wait. That's what we come up to. All right, now that you're up here, we will go off of Max as you are the highest. Actually, no, Polly. Polly, you are the 17. You can offload onto the Zeppelin itself first. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, like, take a look both ways. Down here, you can see just through that doorway, because there's no the door's not closed, there's more of those biohazard canisters all over the place. That's what I thought they were Like, they're for. stacked up gotcha. in big, like, big, like, 50-gallon drums. Already. I know how Continental's going out. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll just wave everybody in because I'm not, I'm not seeing anybody either way. So um, right. I'm going to go ahead and wave We're everybody in. We're not seeing them, but we can hear them. Right. Yeah, you can hear and them. And then get right over here. All right, so you kind of duck uh, down I'll towards just, one of the propellers. Yep, I'll just like post right there. Combat knife in hand. Okay, that brings us to Z next. Or Max, sorry. Jeez, I can't read, guys. I don't know what the hell's going on. From around the corner, I'll try and peek around us see if I can see anything or get an indication of like how many Further, see or hear. When you kind of peer, like you lean down into the main hallway that runs the length of the Zeppelin, you can see into that control room and the lights in there are all green and red. It looks like the greens from the screens that are up there for the control stations and the reds like the emergency lighting that's up. When you peer over, you can see there's a guy down by the main controls like the captain's chair at the front end of the, the Zeppelin and you can see shadows from somebody moving around just right on the inside of the doorway. And the conversation that we overheard sounds like they're going to stick up here. They're not going to try and go down and help. That's what it sounds like. Okay. Well, wait for everybody else to get up and in a, in a better position so that we can. Okay. Z and next turn. Z and Vox can go ahead and move themselves up. Guns out. My sword's out. I don't want to shoot biohazard canisters, so I'm using a blade. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I yeah I'll, I'll pull my katana. That'd be a really rough critical failure, right? Yeah. Yep. It would. <laughs> You'll see somebody walk up this direction, another person, the probably captain's chair, and you'll hear, like, walking along the, the grating to the south of you guys. Oh, shit. Yeah, of course, Vox is going to put himself in an obvious position. You'll see somebody else come down the stairs. All right, guys. So you can see, like, in the, the quarters in front of you, that's probably, like, a good 10 or so feet away down this narrow hallway of the Zeppelin. One person's in the middle of the, like, looks like a, a little laneway that goes between all the, the workstations and then obviously the biohazard containers on the left and right. There's stairs that lead up to the second level above this control station where somebody has just descended on the left-hand side of the Zeppelin. And up up front, up front you can see a guy who's moved a little bit closer to the captain's chair and it looks like he's punching up and trying to get people on comms right now. Which brings us back to Polly. Uh, I'm gonna look at CD, or I'm gonna look at Z. I'm gonna reach down and I'm gonna pull a second knife out of my boot, and I'm gonna hand it to her. And I'm just gonna be like, "Chemicals, no guns." I can't see shit. I'm gonna go ahead and there's somebody right there. I'm not gonna be able to take them out with a knife throw, so that's not an option. Fair enough. I'll try and sneak in there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try and sneak. Sneaky motherfuckers. I'll, I'll try to sneak in. Roll your stealth. 14. Not bad. Not Respectable bad. roll. Fuck. 19 on perception. Okay. Do you want to use a dice re-roll? Yes, please. Okay. Fuck. Even if you roll a 10, you can't get a 19, bro. Max, you can get his 18. Well, with the 10, you roll. it rolls again oh, for you. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, so you're you're literally looking for the 19 here. You or the, the 10. 10. Yeah, um, that's not going to happen. All right. If I jump uh, five luck, is anybody... Uh, Objecting to me using another die. Take it. No, go ahead. Legit. Yeah, go ahead. That's a legitimate strategy. Just like corner camping. Uh-huh. Hey, look, if you get the W, who cares? Yes. There you <laughs> right? go. 21. Cool. Go ahead and move where you'd like to move. You actually will sneak past the notice of both of the Raff and Shiv. Is You're ducking down. Didn't... What? You're ducking down right around the corner, using yep. the, the, the barrels stacked up biohazard materials to make cover for yourself. You just yep. tucked away in the shadows just nicely. Yep, and I'm ready to uh, fucking shank somebody in the neck if uh, they get too close. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't blame you, sir. I would probably shank somebody too if they're a raffin' shiv. Which brings us to Max, the nomad. 
I will mm -hmm. also try and uh, sneak my way into this into this situation. You have my permission to die. Go ahead and roll stuff. Oh, 18! Look at you! Nice, good roll. Oh! Yes! But I also, I too, have dice. Have dice. I will use one. I'll use one more. And if you win again, then fate had decreed it to be so. Nice! <laughs> Critical <laughs> failure! <laughs> so, as you slide on in, this guy's like, what's going on? You see the guy on the landing for the stairs? What's going What? What's the problem? And his buddy's like, just go fucking check and make sure everything's okay. <laughs> oh, all right. And as he turns around, you slid right past his field of view. All right. That leads us down to the wraiths, actually. Dun, dun, dun. So since, since you are right next to this dude, Max, I will give you the unheard of in this system, attack of opportunity, should you wish. Uh... I will take said attack of opportunity to decapitate Jake. him with my katana. Now the wraith there that you you're go. watching come down these stairs is wearing light armor jack, like a, a light coat. He has an assault rifle slung over his shoulder. You can see that he's got a, a machete on his left hip and a heavy a very heavy pistol, like a magnum essentially on his right hip. So he's walking around, doesn't see you yet. You get a jump on him. This could be real bad, but uh, let's do it. Okay. Do you want a called shot for anything? Like the head? Yes, I would. Okay. It can be only to one, no man. So, <laughs> to the face. Right. The only one. Don't so, forget you have luck points. Yeah, that's very important. So called shots to the head is a negative eight to your check. Holy shit. Wow. That's painful. God, so what do I need to, what do I need to roll? So you your roll attack. your attack... Um, since he's being caught by surprise, he's not going to get a, a, a counter roll. So I'm going to say it's going to be his debts plus his, let's say his brawl is going to be your DC. Mm. And that is... Nine on eight. Eight is your DC. Okay. I'm just going to do it. Okay. 16 on the nose, sir. <laughs> on the nose. Roll your damage for your blade. Roll high, bitch. Nice. That's it. actually a good roll. Yeah. 14 is respectable, sir. 455. Five. For your first Solid. shot. Face. So since he's sans helmet, as they say, it gets doubled. Uh-huh. To a 28. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's that's rough. Does it, ouchy, buddy. <laughs> doesn't kill him though. Want to get Max that now? the silent swordman. But it really fucks up his day. It does. He's right, 17 yeah. out of 45, so that shit hurts. Data so fire is too you will, yeah, Katana is, is two attacks, so. Swing again, sir. The first one hits him, you'll cut his ear off and slice into his scalp, and he'll be like, oh, fuck. 24? <laughs> no, that's a 30. 30. 30. 30. Plus six for a crit. Nice. Go ahead and roll your damage. Wow. Eight, Ooh. so 16. He's got one hit point left. Like, you slice into him, and he hits the back of the wall there, the corner, and is just grasping like his head where your blade has sliced through his skull, and he's holding blood as it's streaming down his face, and just kind of slides down into a slump in the corner, not really moving. He'll bleed out for damn sure. Well, that sucked for him. Um, hey. Yeah. After the race, we have Z at a set, at a nine. See, I can do that CD stealth slice shit too. <laughs> <laughs> Z, what do you want to do? You rolling stealth? Mm -hmm. Roll your stealth. 19. Nice. Not bad. Nice. The one guy who was actively looking is dead, so you're safe. And you got over 15, so nobody's going to hear nothing. Which brings us to Vox. Ow. 14 stealth? Well, well, should I? Should I? Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, I should probably should. Okay. So we'll use another one. 16 is better. Yeah, 16 no, is better. Uh, and I would like to also stealth kill yeah. her. <laughs> Aiming for the head? To the head. Right. To so, the head. So um, since you guys have managed your stealth rolls, nobody's alerted up here yet, so it's going to be only an 8 again to hit this person. So go ahead. 21. 21. Definitely hits that difficulty. Roll your damage. Do um, you want me just to roll my second attack real quick? Yeah, go ahead. That's fine. 17 will also hit. Okay, so first one, so only 10. So 20. And 12. 24. So okay. 44 total. Yeah. So you'll <laughs> walk up, 
and shank this person in the ear first and then stab them in the neck and just kind of cup their mouth with your free hand like shh, shh, shh let it happen <laughs> just pull them back <laughs> just let it happen just let it happen uh, pull, pull her into another room <laughs> shh, shh, shh. <laughs> all right um, oh buddy if you go to the top of the order is Polly again ah get the pilot I can't I can't make it that far what do you mean you can't make it that far She's I only move five squares moves. Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's six to get up there. It's just one away. <laughs> yep. Damn, that's a, yeah. Shit. It's okay. Make your move. We'll all fucking. No, move you can. Up. You can get there. Oh, you going can, up the no, stairs. You, you, can, you can do it. You can get there. Cause you're wow. here, you, you started here, right? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And you're oh. right next to him. Use the diagonal. Yep. Use okay. the diagonal, sir. Sweep the leg. Johnny. Sweet yep. delay, Sweet Johnny. Delay, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> an illegal right. move in a tournament. So you're stealth roll? We're not in a tournament. Fuck him. <laughs> it's, uh, street rules. Stealthy, stealthy. 14. All right. Let's see what we got here on our opposed roll. I think it's too late for this guy either way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> too late. I don't think it matters. <laughs> He's going to roll again. Let me take one of those dice away. So I'm down to 13. Because what do I got to lose? Aside a from his life. <laughs> yeah, Zeppelin is definitely in the, the shit part. 18! I am king of yeah. the world! 21, oh, okay. Bitch. So you roll another dice and get a 21. You can do me like yep. that. I'm a crit. <laughs> dirty, dirty, dirty. All right. What weapon are you using? A blade? <laughs> you guys are knifing I'm people on a Zeppelin. <laughs> Combat knife. All right. <laughs> Just pull out your K-bar. Yep. <laughs> All right. Are you doing a headshot again? Uh, yes, I will attempt a headshot. All right, you're negative eight. Difficulty's an eight. Oh. Not quite. That's a five. Take a die. Get some cool points. You guys have a total I'm of... I'm out of cool points now. You have nine um, more dice. Do you want to use one? Yeah, I'll use one. Yes! I'll take oh. a 25. Yep, 25 will definitely hit. Four, so eight. Rate of fire two. Yep, roll your second one. I only need an eight, right? You need an eight in total, minus eight. But so like, minus Oh, eight. minus eight. Yep, so you got a four. Oh man, we are so down on days. Yeah, we're a little down. Take one. We have a get out of death free cards. All right, you, you got him on the back of the neck with that first strike. It's it's right. hurt him, but it's not enough to put him down. All right, I'll take another one. Okay. Negative, sir. Was not meant to be. As you swing your nope, second shot, it's not meant to be. He puts an arm up and stops the blade like right before you hit him in the neck. All right, so that leads us to after Polly Max. Now, if you guys take him down before the round's over. You will still be stealthy, but cool. if he lives, he's gonna raise an alarm. You One, guys can hop two, over. Three, four, five, and I will katana him in the face. Over the the workstation. Ka -ka! Yeah, fuck it. Or if I can move, well, I don't know if I can move through Polly or not. Yeah, I would just. I would. You can hop over myself, those but, those stations. Oh, I was just saying, I just flat myself against the one side for him, but no, you can you can jump over those stations. They're they're not full like ceiling to floor. It's like maybe like waist high. You all just right, vault right. over them. So since he's no longer surprised he survived, he does get to do a normal, like, he basically rolls his reflexes plus his his brawl to defend himself. Bastard. Okay. I got a 25. 25. I critted. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You get by him. Go ahead and roll your damage. You guys do your little dance. Seven. Oh. That's not great damage, but you get to nick him. As you guys are kind of like, he sees you come from the side and you're swinging at the katana at him. He's managed to just basically evade a bit. Seven might actually doesn't make it through his armor. He's got that armor jack on. So your second attack, second sir. Swing. Since it's rate of fire two. Done. Oh, second beach. swing, same as the first. Only better damage. Mm. Nice. Oh, you make it through as you guys are. You got a twenty-two. You got a sixteen. He's trying to avoid, but you still stick him again. Go and roll your damage. Fourteen will get past that armor and knock it down to a ten. So three will go by. He'll get nicked by your blade again. Uh, between the stabbings that you've done to him and that Polly managed to get him, he's obviously bleeding a couple spots from where he's been hit, but he's not that bad. You can see him start to try to maneuver. He's trying to get to his pistol, which brings us to actually him. Holy shit, it's his turn. Shit. Uh, he pulls the heavy pistol and goes to shoot Max. One shot on Max and one shot will be on, uh, on Polly. So it's 13 because it's close range. 21 on Max. Only nine damage though, so Doesn't I don't think that fits your, your armor. 
What so will not go through. Yeah, the armor jack takes a ping, and he turns to Polly with a second shot. <laughs> Miss. We're not going to let that uh, that six stand on principle. <laughs> We're going to use a dice. There we go. 20 is better. Oh, 15 damage is respectable. It's yeah, not not a crit, though. That's good. So what, three gets past your armor jack, I assume? It just center yeah, of mass. So like a bit of a damage from the breach where the bullet hits you. Like just center of mass. The gunshot draws attention from upstairs. People are like, what the fuck was that? And you'll hear, we double time it, as definitely some wraiths are starting to stream that direction towards the cockpit. Dude comes down and sees a dead dude in the fucking corner of the stairwell. He's like, what the fuck? All right, gunfire has erupted. It's game on at this point. That leads us to Z. Z okay, sees I, uh, I have a, guns now? Yeah, well, gunfire has ripped off, so that's kind of alerted people into the Zeppelin, in the Richard airship, I should say. You do see a guy appear in, like, heavier armor at the top of the stairs to, you know, straight ahead of you and to the right in the red light as it's flashing. Well, I'm a brawler, so the knife isn't going to do shit for me. Start beating ass with your fists. Yep. <laughs> at this point, they're going to be using gunfire. They don't give a shit whether or not that shit pops. I do. It's up to you. Do what you want. Do what you would do. <laughs> do what you got to do. Yeah. Throw a motherfucker off a of zeppelin. Do what you got to do. <laughs> and I no ticket. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> no ticket. <laughs> so uh, melee combat is attackers relevant. Dex plus yeah, dex plus relevant melee skill versus the defender's dex plus evasion. At this point non-existent for me. I have no melee skill. Well, or your brawl, you know, whatever the case may be. Are you shooting? Are you punching? I have no choice but to punch, but unfortunately his armor is probably going to negate everything my fist can do. You could grapple, but why don't you have guns? I have guns. They don't want yeah. me using guns. Then shoot it. Not if you're shooting at an angle, but if you're shooting right in front of yourself, shoot him. Fuck, fuck him. him. Right. Yeah. Fucking Shit. kill him. <clears throat> uh, I forget what the... Oh. Uh, handgun. So you nearly need a 13, so go ahead and roll. I'm going to take three luck as well. Add it to this. Okay. Nice. 25, 25 will do. definitely hit. Should have called shot that shit. That would have been beautiful. 12 damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. So he's got his armor jack, which is now only... Oh, well, it's a 12. Or is it? Let me check. What do you got, bro? What are you wearing, dude, bro? Light armor jack. Okay. So one gets through and you ablate the armor. You shoot this guy, you see him stagger back. He's like, what the fuck? And he like reaches down to kind of go for his weapon, which he'll get to on his initiative next round, which brings us to Fox. Okay, well, I know people are coming down our way now from like the caboose. Yeah. So I think- There's nothing explosive that way. Right there with my sword out. So when they come in, I'm just gonna- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Oh, awesome. All right, so that brings us to the top of the round, which is Polly again. Stab him. I'm going to look at him and be like... You're dancing with the pilot of the Zeppelin. You've got your, your K-bar out. He's pulled his heavy pistol, so this is the game has changed a bit up top here. So go ahead and... What do you want to do? As I'm dropping my combat knife to flip the trench aside to pull my shotgun up, I'm like, okay. ooh, you... <laughs> You shot me in a pinky toe. <laughs> Boom! You shot my motherfucking pinky toe. <laughs> God. I love that movie so much. All right, so. Go to life. You dips a 13 with your shoulder arms. Yeah. You... <laughs> nice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Roll your damage. Point blank shot. Wow. 18. Is it a crit? It is no. not. It is not a crit. It is no, still 18. Only, only one six. It is still 18 damage, so eight gets through. And his shit drops to nine. And his shit drops to nine. Yeah, it does. So you blast him back against the console, the pilot's console. The chair, the pilot's chair just kind of spins and goes off to the side, and you hear it rattle to the ground in the cockpit as this guy's like, oh, fuck, and he barely manages to hold on to his pistol, which brings us to Max, who's right there as well with the katana. Is a, is a called shot to the head the same as a called shot to anywhere else? Or is it just the standard? It's a standard a negative shot? eight. Yep. Just a negative eight. Okay. Uh, I'll just slicey, slicey with the katana then. Okay. And he'll roll his evasion. 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 Ooh, yeah. He got a 21. He's hot fire with that dice. And you got a 16. Looks like he wins. You only rolled a two, though. Fuck it. <laughs> Take one. You rolled a two, bro. Yeah, but if I, I would need to roll an. Uh, 
an eight, nine, or ten, right? Five more. So I need to roll a seven or above. That's doable. To beat him. Um, do you have any luck? Points or luck? I do have luck. Um, I will blow three luck and take a dice. Okay. Get down, oh, so oh, oh. Get... You guys are at 11 dice, and the NPCs are at 12. All right. Well, you know what? Pretty even. They can shut up. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> oh, so 22. 22 Did you add hit. in your dice? I didn't add it in before, no. Yeah, 22. So yeah, you, you'll hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All this right, go ahead. getting all fucked up. Dude, yes, he is. Go ahead and do your second attack. He's dying a painful fucking death is what he's doing. <laughs> um, 17, will, will that will hit. Um, he's only get the one dodge. I'll give it to him. So go ahead and roll. Well, cool. I'm glad we had this conversation. As the katana finishes him off, he'll just slam back yeah. into the control console and slough off to the side, leaving it bare. It's yeah, my captain's chair, painful. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> there can be only one. No so, it. given the time, we're going to... You guys have a good candle. You control the entirety of the cockpit. So it just becomes you guys making a kill box down the center aisle as yep. they start coming in direction. Mm-hmm. That's exactly and what I'm doing. with the four of you, the gunfight goes slowly but it gets done because you're trying to be careful about not shooting these biohazard containers now down below on the ground level at this point in time between the three snake nation and cd you guys have managed to ward herd off all the people away from the zeppelin area as it's starting to slowly take off where max is kind of taking control of it and start to slink into the night at that point in time all the distractions that poly have set up are is what's keeping them from following you because they still think there's more people out there so you guys actually managed to get away now my question to max is an important one what the fuck are you doing with the zeppelin we have chemical drums you Let's guys go to continental you guys have about i'd say 15 biohazard gas drums and you have a bunch of explosive fuel on board as well on the second level <clears throat> they you guys were feel about a um, with with Polly's tech skill it looks like they were trying to rig these with all the gear that's up top on the second level they're rigging these into like droppable explosives. Cool. Yep. How do you yeah, guys feel about idea. a How do you guys feel about a bombing run? Yeah, twenty five mile an hour bombing run. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't tease yes. me, Max. Don't tease me. Yes. It's a slow a slow drive by. <laughs> <laughs> Very slow drive by. Oh, like a slightly fa- slightly faster than Amish drive by, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would it would be like a drive by uh, like idle like idle speed. I don't know. It depends on how many horses the Amish have. It might be faster. While well, we're Nico's joking right. around, I'm gathering up the shit I need to start rigging this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Good. As it as like it dawns on me now, like I never discussed like with anybody on the Snake Nation where we're gonna keep this fucking thing that I can that I can recall. No. Uh, so as I'm flying this thing, I will call Santiago and so, be like, hey, "Where can I put this thing?" As you move this fat ass vehicle. Through the air, it's just—it's moving like a blimp, man. Because it is a blimp. It's it a rigid a airship. It's like okay, it's we've gone five badass. feet. So <laughs> it does. You're flying this huge, huge beast of a behemoth through the night sky. Now that you've broken away from the tethers that were tying it down to the the wraith camp, mm-hmm. you get a couple of stray shots that shoot past the cockpit as they're trying to shoot up at you. But with the darkness, and once you turn the lights off, you're silent running mode. Fuck off. (laughs) You hit Santiago over the radio. He's like, what the fuck is going on? Are you okay? Yeah, we're more than okay. We got this thing. Where can I put it? Uh, Well, I can tell you where you can't put it anymore. The gas station, southeast of the city, it got got hit. It got hit? We got a safe house in the city that got hit. Everybody but two guys were killed. I don't know where the fuck those guys are. I don't know who hit it, but the gas station got hit as well. One guy's missing from that. Everybody else is dead. What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know what's going on either. Uh, so we've got a Zeppelin with gallons of biohazardous bombs. Drums! And, They're drums! Um, explosives. So if if you can give me a target, we'll go bomb somebody like right now. Why don't I, well, since I don't know who the hell is doing this, why don't we hold that aside and we'll get to somewhere we can get a staging point, you know, started and maybe get some more armaments on that thing and then figure out what the fuck is happening. Yeah. All right. This thing doesn't move so fast. So if you need to figure that out and call me back and tell me where to put this, that's totally cool. 
Yeah, um, I'll send you some chords probably next hour or so. All right, that works. All right. Time will pass as you're flying away from the Wraith camp, and you'll finally get coordinates. It's further out. It, it's south of Night City, a lot farther down. Like, you'll skirt some of the, the mountain ranges out there and start heading south of the city. It's a mobile camp they set up. Looks like relatively recently as you're pulling over it. But there's probably about 30 or 40 Snake Nation here. As this has now been like, what the fuck has been going down? Once you get tethered up and come on down to the ground level, Santiago's there. Raphael is kind of there, but he's still recovering. And a couple of the other people that you guys have kind of dealt with here and there throughout the city and with the Snake Nation and seen while you're on runs and shit like that are here as well. And Santiago tells you um, that they got essentially witness statements from the place that got hit in the city. Essentially, it's a bunch of guys that came up in suits and fucking broke down the door and just mowed down everybody inside. Took two people away, like, beaten to shit. Dragged them off. Suits, huh? Yeah. Any bells that ring? I mean, it could be... Uh, could be Arasaka. Well, I don't know what the fuck it is. I mean, we've been asking everybody. I don't know how anybody's targeting our, our people, especially at these, these locations. I don't either. I don't know how anything... How Anything we've been doing gotten? would have gotten How specifically could... tracked back to those locations. That doesn't make sense. How much could they have gotten from when Raphael dumped? Can they... I don't know how that works. Are they able to trace? It's just not like, what do you mean when Raphael dumped? Oh, when he went to... Soul killer. I... It's real. And it depends. If they got a fragment of him, who fucking knows? What are you talking about? Like, what is this? He went with me to Arasaka. Right. Have you ever heard of Soul Killer? No, I'm not a net, I don't deal with that shit. It's an old net program, mostly a fucking urban legend, or we thought, until it popped out of a fucking vault at us, and it almost killed him. What it does is it basically takes your brain and uploads it. So you're saying somebody downloaded, and he'll point over at Raphael, where the guy's sitting in the back of like a... Part of his, his noggin, yeah. Fuck. I killed it before it got all of him, but I don't know what it got. Great, great. At that point in time, Zeal will get a ding on her phone when account transfer has gone through. Looking at it, the fuck is that? Whatever it is, it just gave you 3.2 million. <clears throat> oh. Minus 25%, call it tax. That's after the 25%. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I was I, being I, negative. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't realize we were close enough to have single. Divvy um, it up. I'm, I, I would have been texting um, our manager to get the fuck out of Dodge. Take Truman with you. What are you talking about? Get out of the city. Okay. <laughs> what's the What's our cut? It's three point two million divided by five. <laughs> so we each get six hundred and forty grand. No, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Uh, I'll give. I'll forward uh, her uh, one hundred and forty grand. Tell her to bounce. Our manager. We mean. I mean, like talking about just lay low, or what's going on yeah. here? Go, go lay low. Go, take a vacation for a bit. <laughs> Okay. Just like, sure. I, I mean, I'm sending some of it to Truman and going, get your clan to get you the fuck out of the city. She touched the badge. Like, I want Truman. Is anybody give me any sort of explanation of what the fuck is going on? Talk uh, later. Yeah. Love you. I'll, I'll for, I'll send uh, our manager a message. Be like, yeah, we, we did a run. We got a lot of money, but the heat is high. You're connected to us. If they find out it's us, they'll come after you. You have to go. Well, yeah, I'll fine. You. Just. I'll contact you in the future. We'll get together and make sure, you know, we'll go from there. Oh, okay. I guess. Like, sure. I don't know what the fuck you guys got into without even talking to me, but I guess we'll make do. I just sent her 140 grand. She better fucking make do. <laughs> All right, Mr. Hot Shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to point out right now, I didn't get shot this time. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Shot earlier than That's because we had a plan. This time. Yeah, CD That's got true. shot. Yeah. <laughs> he got shot pretty good by that drone. I'm the guy who's supposed to get shot. Yeah. <laughs> to be yeah. fair. I you're had the a guy plan. Who's, and... you're, the, you're the rocker boy. Right, yeah. <laughs> <I'm> the <laughs> solo. <laughs> and you were low on the initiative, so all right. a lot so of shit got done true. first. You all have $640,000 a piece. What's the goal? He's taking Truman, changing up everything, vanish. Okay. I'm getting new uh, identities for my parents and my three siblings and giving them enough money to set up somewhere else and so, like, get we're the talking fuck about, out of the streets. Like leaving Night City or staying yeah. within? Okay. Vox? I don't know what, what I'll have left over after that. So 
Um, well, it, everybody's splitting up. Uh, I am going to probably forward <clears throat> 400 grand more to our manager, uh, let her know to stay on for a while. And I'm going to take the, what is that? That leaves me 200 grand. Uh, I am going to contact Mr. White, use that money to upgrade myself, and continue the good fight without my band. But continuing to make music as if my band is still here. Okay. Gives them more time to get the fuck away before I'm found and killed. Yeah. Uh, CD will um, will go look for a, uh, a, uh, a fixer. That's the first thing I will do, is I will find a fixer. What's the goal? Um, to uh, move money from something that can be traced to me to something I can access but can't be traced to me. That's pretty easily done. Yeah, you can get that done. Yeah. Not a problem. Um, and then I will, um, I'll find, um, um, I'll find, uh, uh, so my, my background is a nomadic pack with roots and transport. Right. Um, I'm going to find, I'm going to go on the look for, basically, I'm going to go back to just junk, right? Like rags, no helmet, no mask, just back to the war and rats type of, of lifestyle. But with and, money. <laughs> right, right, right. But but I, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to spend any of that money. So, like, basically, CD is going to try to hook up with some more, um, some nomads. And basically live like a nomad until he feels it's safe to start setting up a new life somewhere. Okay. I'd say fixer route sounds like a good plan. Basically, if you've ever seen The Wire, um, when... Uh, um, Fucking, uh, I forget, I forget the character's name, but the guy that robs the drug dealers, he like retires to Mexico. Like that's that's basically what I'm trying <laughs> okay. to do. Like, like find a guy to hold my money until I can spend my money, and okay. then spend my money. Max, uh, I am destroying my helmet and my guitar and anything else that was affiliated with the Max Olydian persona. Um. Just in case, I will just slightly alter my physical appearance a little bit, even though nobody really saw me without my mask on anyways, just to look like a different dude. Uh, I will hand my whatever cred stick or whatever has all of my money on it to Santiago and tell him there's over 600000 on here. Um, it's probably traceable, so you might want to funnel it or see somebody about making it not traceable and also here's the keys to the zeppelin with enough ammunition on it to really fuck up somebody's day to go after your enemies i'm willing to stay here with the snake nation and assume my real identity and work the family business and defend the family but my music days are done and if the snake nation doesn't want me around I'll leave Night City and be and be a nomad myself somewhere else. You don't get kicked out of your clan, but you are given responsibility to watch out for Raphael while he's recovering. Because this was, well, it's your fault, really. It's you and your yep. group's fault that he got fucked up. So, like, he's put in your care. And that issue takes a while to resolve because his mind's not quite all there. You can tell whatever a soul killer took from him, it was really important. And he's having trouble. Like, he can't net run anymore. Um, he's alive. He knows the programs, but he can't. He, he has crippling pain whenever he jacks in now. So he can't even see to that part of his life anymore. It's like an echo of something's missing inside of him. So you set up shop with them, with him, and kind of do the night market thing and do some transport stuff. And that's kind of your existence for the next year or so. Now, in the grand scheme of things for everybody here, Tyra doesn't get out of town. Polly. Oh, yeah, Polly. She sure said we did Polly. Getting a family well, out. Well, no. I said I got my family out, and I said I don't know how much that, that leaves me with. Um, you get your family set up, it only takes like for body sculpting is only looking at like ten grand a person. Like that's not a big deal. It's finding somebody a new lifestyle that's gonna take the majority of that money and get them out of Night City, it's gonna take the majority of that money. Okay. They get all that money will be clean transferred over, paid for all their shit, get them the fuck out. Um I'm gonna hook up with uh the Steel of the Heralds and just be their tech and go by my actual name before okay. I was Polytechnics. Okay. Um, I will, while we're close to town or whatever, I'll take, I'll try and contact, um, that's too volatile in Night City. And Steel Vajero, stay on the fucking highways. I can't recall off the top of my head Max's name that he actually gave. Mr. Bingle. 
Bangle. That's right. That's I'll try a, in. That's, that's an alias. Either, that's a that's a nickname. Right. I'll either try up hit up Bangle or Santiago. I got the frequencies, mm -hmm. um, and try and keep in touch that way. But I'll just keep traveling up and down the highways until at least a year until it starts cooling off before I figure out what my next move is. Okay. I'd say, yeah, for me, fixer, full clean. After I hire a bunch of net runners to go after DM brands and get some solos to go take out Giga Blow Me. Okay. Overall, Giga Bite Me gets mowed down outside of a... They get <laughs> mowed down outside of a Maelstrom Club after a gig. It's literally, it's a drive-by. These souls pull up in a sports vehicle, pull out machine guns, and just kill the two of them, Maximum and, you know, Riffer. And they go down, and they just pull the fuck off. It costs you maybe five grand. Done. Cool. Super cheap, super easy, and super impersonal. They're just dealt with. And it does hit the news. You know, that Gigabyte Me has been killed by, you know, unknown assailants, etc. It kind of goes in the news cycle for a little bit. Uh, the DM Brands Run releases the music for over two dozen artists that now becomes public domain, essentially. It gets free from their contracts. And DM Brands, as a subsidiary of, you know, diverse media solutions, falls. It crumbles on itself. It just collapses. It can't maintain the weight. Good. Now, as that's happening, the slogans for Shirts Lair gets blown up by unknown assailants after you guys have already left. On top of that, the Sangre start a war with Snake Nation. Sangre, if you all recall, you find out we're working with Arasaka. Arasaka is now has a bone to pick, a huge bone to pick with Snake Nation. So essentially a war starts in the Nomad Clans out east of the city. It's the, the, that subset of the Blood Nation fighting the entirety of the Snake Nation that are in the area, and it's going fucking bloody as shit because Arasaka's supplying the arms. On top of that, you've got Arasaka getting kicked out completely of Night City. Anything they do here has to be through intermediaries now because the... The fact that they had moles and the police department and other security companies kind of really struck the raw nerve of people about Arasaka already and frayed it till it snapped. Arasaka has been banned from Night City for at least another 20 years at this point. They're not allowed to come back in any presence whatsoever, which has started a huge like influx of, uh, I guess, other smaller companies to try to fill the void of Arasaka now being outright banned from the city. Now, that causes a problem because once they're gone, Militech basically becomes the predominant arms and security provider in the entire area. And since they are owned now by the U.S. government out east, that gives the government a huge fucking you know footprint in Night City, which causes all kinds of shit. And then you have rumors of Militech striking out like up-and-coming competitors and somehow knowing everything that they have planned and where the assets are aka for z they're using soul killer on soul people they capture uh, because they're the ones who bought it so that creates this huge you know domino effect that's causing chaos now in night city and especially out in the badlands now tyra never makes it out of the city vox has her set to go lay low as DM Brands collapses and as Continental's getting shit, more and more shit as those songs get played over and over and over again. Nobody's seen slogans for shirts, so the radio stations are playing their stuff. It's getting pushed underground by Mr. White, and they're losing ground. And a desperation move, Continental kidnaps Tyra, and you don't know what happens to her because she's not heard from again. She doesn't end up dead anywhere, but you don't find her. Somebody probably saved her and kind of got her out, and she just said, fuck this. So she actually takes Vox's money and goes. So Vox loses all that shit. Vox works with Mr. That's White and it turns into an issue of basically screwing Cotton over at every chance you can possibly get. Now, as you work with this person for like a year, you discover, as things go further and further south, that Mr. White's working for All Foods slash Biotechnica. Moreover, Mr. White's not an AI. It's an alias of a hacker that's working for Biotechnica. That's one thing that comes out. Like, literally this entire time you've been doing this bidding for Mr. White, you've been working for a corp. You just didn't know about it. Um, mm -hmm. Now, I know that doesn't really matter for, for Voss because it was all against Continental. Fuck it, that's the goal. But you right. definitely have helped All Foods and Biotechnica get a huge foothold in the market in Night City now. And the, the net runner that was behind Mr. White is Gina Lopez. She's a high-level net runner for Biotechnica who's been involved in all kinds of shit. She's just really good at what she does, and they pay her an enormous amount of money, a stupid sum, to do what she does. So as long as Vox is willing to put in that time and do this shit for Biotechnica, he, be he can become an employee. 
and get paid, right. get funded. You get musicians that come in and work for you that you know help you produce some of the records that since your bandmates are gone, and you can start putting this music out. But it does become a deal where you have to separate from the Vox Tone persona and become a faceless, you know, basically entity slash rocker boy slash band. All the bands on the data pool, it's all done via avatars, no live shows ever. But it's picking off where slogans for shirts left off. Perfect. With a better budget. For CD, you get a couple of close calls over the years. People don't know who you were as part of the band since you're now sans mask and all that, but shit gets dangerous out in the nomad lands. When you're trying to go from clan to clan or at least kind of hook up with a clan for a bit, it's the, the clan wars that are going on out in the desert make things really, really deadly to be out there. So you get a couple of close calls over the years. On top of all this, as time progresses, each one of you, no matter where you're at, occasionally you get the feeling you're being watched. Somebody is just over your shoulder. And as things progress, people that you know, people that you were, you know, gotten somewhat close to or at least dealt with on a regular basis, start going missing. Mm -hmm. As they start basically slowly coming in on you. And it comes down to the point where basically one of y'all gets done dirty in like a bathroom stall. Like you go take a shit at a club Somebody pops on the door and just puts two to the head, boom, boom, and you get done. To wrap things up entirely, Slogans for Shirts still maintains a very good presence in the underground music scene. They're still played at like anti-corporate rallies, but as the band members start falling off and you guys start you know, becoming other lives and having other things to do outside of the music and you abandon that part of your life, they start getting less and less play over time and fades into obscurity, much like TNT. Now, on the Z and Truman side, Truman sets up her studio. She sets up her label. And then one day, three years after this happens, you guys have a nice place. You've made a lot of money. You're on the coast of the water. She's stepping out to like look at this balcony over this wonderful pool you guys have spread out. You have servants cleaning the house. She gets sniped and killed. And then you go down right after you see her get hit. That's fair. Polly on East the road. Coast, West Coast. Yeah, Polly on the road stays safe for the most part. Uh, you do get the feeling you're being tracked a bit. Max, just you just become another member of Stake Nation. Eventually, Vox gets sold out by a Biotechnica when it's more convenient for them to let you go. And you're cast aside entirely. And that's where your lives end. CD's making a nameless face for himself until he gets to get back to his money. Max is faceless. Polly's still out. Her family's doing fine. Vox becomes, hey man, I'll play a song in the corner for you for some cash as you've literally lost all support you have. And you can't go back to being Vox Tone because if you do, you're dead. Which means you lose all your Rocker Boy fame, essentially. And then you get done dirty in a, in a bathroom stall. Yep, makes sense. <laughs> it's kind of where we figured most of this would end up anyways. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. I figured I was going to be you're done You're the one anyways, who gets done dirty. You just caused too much trouble, man. And you were too much asset. You knew too much about Continental and too much about uh, Biotechnica. So. I'm surprised oh, they didn't yeah, give him like, sure. some hot drugs or something. Yeah, hot shot you. Hey yeah. man, try this. Right. OD dead. dead. Me out. <laughs> but that's the uh, the end of slogans for shirts, y'all. And man, we burned it bright. It was good. Oh yeah. And Fucking we got hell. out for a while. I feel good about it. Until yeah. Arasaka. What got Z him. was that you stayed with Truman. Yeah, and she was... stayed. She stayed in the limelight by opening her own. Yeah, place. Vox was was going to be dead because he just would not give up the fight. Yeah, um, no, absolutely. But Z, say with Truman is what did it. Everybody else who went out and kind of got a new identity, they're the ones who lived. For for now. Who knows? They'll probably get, you yep. know, it'll probably be like an old, like, mafia hit style, sitting down at a diner for some spaghetti. Guy sits yep. down in the booth across from you. How's it going? Puts a gun yeah. on the table. It's like, shit. Yeah, CD is yep. like the type of guy that, like, he'll, he'll live till 60 and he's decrepit. And then at someone will get, like, a... I, like a chip with 640 euro bucks on it, 640,000 euro bucks on it. Like, he's the type of guy, he'll never use it. Because he's, <laughs> right. he's just too fucking paranoid someone will fucking clip him. And That's just, why he like, like, Right, like, it. just, like, his ass will probably end up going somewhere else and doing fucking hits and then get killed. <laughs> Completely unrelated. You yeah, shot some boy's totally brother right. in a gunfight, and that guy came back five years later and killed you in right. the restaurant. But all right, everybody, uh, thank you all for coming out to our last session. We've gone a little longer than normal, so I apologize, uh, Sean. Great game, Ray. Um, okay. I'm good. Absolutely. All right, everybody, that's a wrap for Slogans for Shirts. I really hope you all enjoyed the episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed the live plays when you guys came out and watched us on Twitch. And we will hope you guys will stick around and come check out our Dragonlance sessions coming soon. 
See you all in the next game. Hello, Night City! We're gonna play you a little outro from TNT's last album ever. Enjoy it, and while it plays, I'm gonna shut the hell up. And that's it, Night City. Remember, while bands come and go, the music never dies.